Hey everybody, welcome to today's video. In today's video, this is going to be cutting out the driver's side floor pan on your 57 Chevy. I bought my floor pans in sections to make it easier to install. I'm also going to be doing the rocker panels as well. This video is going to strictly deal with rusted body parts and pieces that have been hacked together to make it work. So let's go to the video and see what I did to make this happen. Can of plasma cut it in this section as best I could. Now we're going to take the zip disc, we're going to cut along here. We're going to start cutting this new panel out and see if we can salvage it. Plasma cut at that section out. I'm going to take out another section, probably from here, where that line is, back and up. I just ran my plasma cutter right down there and I'm going to go along the hump on just over center and then cut back where my hole was for the transmission and then hopefully this whole middle section will come out. The floor is all cut up but we're not quite ready to remove it yet. Still got one bolt there to remove and part of the emergency brake cable so once I remove that then this old rotten section is going to come out. That's another section yarded out right there, giving me a big gaping hole. So far the integrity of the car is still holding strong. Next section I'm going to cut that last little bit of the tunnel out. And then next time I come in the garage we're going to cut this back section out. I just removed the bolt from underneath, as you can tell right here, I snapped her off. And now I'm going to use a zip disc, we're going to cut where this bent uh, frame support is, cut through there. And also the frame support is where that hump is. So you can see right there how rotted the frame support is. And one of the things we have to do because I cut around where that last bolt is because that is the last bolt in the section of the body. There's one at the front that we won't be touching, but that one there sets the height of the body. Now comes the fun part. Got to start finding out where the spot welds are that are holding this little back section on. We're going to start drilling those out, which is going to be quite the challenge, I think. So we got two of those brackets off. I'm going to need to start working on this one now. And I have to put the air chisel to it and see where the spot welds are then use this little tool right here to drill it out. We're moving along quite nicely getting that panel off basically with the air chisel right there. Air chisel it till I can't lift it no more then I kind of kind of crease it a bit where the weld is and I drill it out and I keep on going. Um, but these ones here it's kind of easier to see where the welds are because you can actually physically see where the dent is. I'm going to need to bust that bolt out, which is probably just going to snap off anyways. And then we're going to have to cut that little piece out right there, drill out the spot welds. And then once we jack up the body, we're going to put a 2x4 probably underneath the right about here. And then we're going to start cutting these out across. That way I can just come up and zip it with the plasma cutter. And then we can remove the last section of the floor. That bolt came out without any resistance at all. I thought it was going to snap off. So it's like one of the first bolts that haven't. And I used my port of power here. I jacked up the body a little bit. Just to get that piece of wood in there. So now it's going to release the pressure. You can feel the weight come down on that block. And it's right where I want it to be. Because now right up here. It's a little bit higher than what that bushing is. Which what I want. So now we're going to remove the cylinder and start working on that piece right there. I just fast forwarded a whole bunch because I need to get this job done. But this brace right here has been drilled out and chiseled. You can see where I didn't have the spot welds drilled out enough. And I just end up just ripping right through. Now this panel right here, I didn't drill out anything on that. It was actually weak enough that with the air chisel... The spot welds just broke, 
There is some damage of course to this upper plate up top but that's nothing too serious because I might just cut that all out too and uh, replace it with a brand new strip. I'm not sure yet but that's what I'm thinking about doing. This is the final stage. We're all done. Driver's side floorboard is out. Rocker panel's out. I cut the bottom part of the quarter panel out because that's going to be replaced too. But now we can start prepping everything and get ready for the new floor pan to go in. I'm going to end my video there on cutting out the driver's side floor by 57 Chevy. It's motherfucking beer time. Only because we're dealing with a big shit show and I hopefully wants all new metals put in properly and not hacked together that everything else will start to go smoothly but there's another section after that I just deal with the back section with the trunk and the quarter panels so shit show is not going to stop anyway stay tuned if you're interested in this 57 Chevy build anyways I'm going to get going I'll talk to you guys later